the incumbent in both Himachal Pradesh and Gujarat is the Bharatiya Janata Party and the Aam Aadmi Party is positioning itself as the true challenger in both these states. Is that the real picture on the, on the ground as well? To discuss that, let me bring in my guest on the show, PKD Nambiar, political analyst, Rashid Kidwai, author and senior journalist. Thank you to both of you. Mr. Nambiar, first thing first, as far as the hill state of Himachal Pradesh is concerned, who is the principal challenger? Is it up? Definitely no. It is actually Congress. Uh, AAP is, uh, has been uh, learned the art of media management to quite an extent. And that is the reason you will find that most of the prime time shows nowadays are dedicated for this to create this narration that Amadmi Party is the leading challenger both in Gujarat and Himachal Pradesh. I think that is not really the truth. Mm -hmm. This was the same thing which they have been able to do with their media management uh, both for Guj uh, Goa and as well as in Uttarakhand. Mm -hmm. But the elections have never happened only on the media or, in the, or, or uh, through the media or in the uh, studios. It mm -hmm. happens in, on the ground with the people choose their leaders. And I think, uh, yes, there is one thing is true, uh, Arunima, that they have been able to create some kind of uh, noise, which they are trying to replace the opposition space of Congress. And of course, uh, we have uh, Rashid Bhai, who is a Congress specialist in a way. So he will be able to tell you that the Congress is not at all a discussion point in all uh, both these elections is uh, something like the very, very bad way Congress has managed. But that space... Amatmi party is trying to fill it. But I think it is too new and a, a place like Gujarat where the uh, Bharatiya Janata Party's organization is so strong right. and it is grass rooted and it has been in the power for the 27 years. Even if this, even if there is a little bit of fatigue is there, it is, it's very difficult for uh, any a new player to come and challenge uh, uh, this mighty BJP there. And most importantly, Arunima, also uh, the split vote of the opposition is always in favor of uh, the BJP. So the opposition votes are going to be split in both in Himachal and also in um, uh, Gujarat uh, will be divided between Congress and Amadni party and the BJP will become a naturally a winner. And this time you only need to see that last time it was a more of like a very tight fight between Congress and uh, BJP uh, in Gujarat. And this time it is going to be a, right. uh, I, I think it's going to be a major win. Right. Mr. Rashid Kidwai, if Congress is in the fight, if it, this is between BJP and Congress and not AAP versus BJP, then the Bharti Janta Party would have us believe that this is no fight at all. Wherever they are in contest with Congress party, it's a clear mandate for them. Is that the correct picture? Uh, not really. I don't know. I think elections are far more complex. Uh, there was the recently there were some civic polls in uh, 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 in Gwalior where Amadi Party pulled substantial number of votes and that resulted in the defeat of the BJP hmm. and the Congress won. So it is you know the many of the bulk of the votes that BJP was counting on went to AAP. So I'm not saying that will necessarily happen, but I'm saying this is also a dimension and a factor that we have to uh, keep in mind. Elections is a very complex uh, business. Thankfully, they are not you know fought on drawing rooms or social media or television studios. I think the real challenge before the Congress is how to reconcile the thing about Bharat Jodo Yatra, the supposedly success of it, right. and the kind of electoral outcome that is, we are going to see in Gujarat and in Himachal. Right. So I think in that scheme of things, Himachal is very important. Congress needs to win that state in order to be in contention for whatever yeah mr Kidwai, if, if you allow me to come in on that you know the neighboring state of punjab everything seemed to be going for the congress party they had a successful chief minister and captain amrinder singh uh, they were claiming uh, that uh, you know the, the the opponents of bjp and the akali there had had no grandstanding no, nothing on the ground and look how it turned out you don't think the neighbors will have any effect on the hill state of himachal uh, I don't know, we must remember Punjab, in Punjab in 2017 assembly elections also, AAP had gone with a lot of, you know, uh, bravado, determination, great, whatever you want to say it, and they mm. fell short, they just got some uh, 20 odd seats, so mm. they were there in Punjab from the, so to say, from a previous election, from the beginning, mm. and, uh, and Punjab was heading for a change, so instead of Congress, they opted for, I mean, uh, in the Congress that, uh, you know, Amrinder Singh's, uh, a kind of replacement of Chandni, they opted mm. for Aam Aadmi Party. Mm. So that happened. So in Punjab, they were well uh, rooted. That is what I'm saying. Himachal, they're going for the first time. Even for that matter, even in Gujarat, they're going first time. Like the same thing that Mr. Nambiar was saying mm. in Goa. 
तो अब पॉलिटिकल पार्टी सी दैट्स वॉट सेइंग इंडिया इज वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स तो पॉलिटिकल पार्टी इन डेली आप इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग इन पंजाब दे वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग इन हरियाणा दे आर अ बिग जीरो हाउ डू एक्सप्लेन दिस so this neighboring thing either it doesn't work actually okay mr nambiar same question to you do you think uh, the the himachal uh, you know a constituent will look over their shoulders look at how their neighboring state has behaved will that have any impact on uh, their choice when they press that button uh, well anilma this is uh, both himachal and uh, punjab they both are absolutely different even though they are neighboring states hmm. uh, the culture is different the way they the, the uh, their expectation desires and the lifestyles are very 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 different so as the challenges of uh, the voters of both these states so i believe that uh, as rashid bhai said that the the, the uh, congress in uh punjab was already going through a major crisis mm -hmm. even though they tried to channi was trying to make some kind of a noise uh, that is again uh, so if you really recall that the, the fight between channi amrinder singh siddhu so much of bad news and uh, akali dal was already there was so much so much of fatigue mm -hmm. against uh, these uh, uh, people so it's basically more of like a opposition of people not towards uh, and bjp was hardly available in punjab and right, let us be right, very honest right. with that so when there is so much of an anti uh, feeling against the establishment they went chose uh, aam aadmi party right and would you want to hazard a guess mr like nambiar would you want to hazard a guess whether these elections will be multi phased uh, you know we are counting down to uh, you know snowfall also uh, already in ladakh in jammu and kashmir the first snow has has fallen in himachal also in the higher terrain uh things are not looking very good weather wise so would you want uh, to hazard a guess whether this will be more than a single phase as far as himachal polls are concerned himachal pradesh uh, would be uh, maybe if not one maybe maximum two but one thing i wanted to tell you the weather and all weather don't uh, the spirit of indian democracy is such a powerful one hmm. the weather all those uh, even uh, we have seen in the during the flood time the elections hmm. were happening so well hmm. even in the uh, in uh, places uh, which are remote areas i think the vibrancy of our democracy our election process is one of the finest in the world and but i think himachal may have maximum two hmm. but I, i one should not be surprised because there is not too much of an elections are not happening yeah. across the country so i think even the government is going for i mean the election commission might even go for a was well, single uh, right. single phase uh, there one single phase there yeah. mr kitai would would uh, would bjp want i mean be be more comfortable there in the in the seat of power there would they be more comfortable if this was a single phase election or it would suit them better uh, if this was more than one phase if past is any indication the bjp has always like that face banner so that you know in the real uh, height of campaigning time they get more of mr amit shah mr narendra modi and all that but i think the election commission is is a empire and there's a lot of criticism on that count hmm. law and order situation in both the states is fabulous in the sense that there is no problem so i think there should be election should be very you know quick and you know the date of elections i mean polling and the outcome that should also be greatly reduced because that leads to lot of you may have heard anunma hmm. that about you know evm being changed all kind of bizarre allegations are leveled i think the election commission should be very conscious of its own image the election is not for the bjp or congress or aam aadmi party election, this is the election commission's only duty hmm. Hmm. and so they should perform it well they, they should not try to politicize it i'm not saying they they politicize it but there was a criticism in bengal look at the number of faces were there so it goes on for a month i think that's that that's not done it should be very quick and fast i mean whatever they schedule is 45 days schedule from now hmm. that they should adhere to and and if if they